Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about a film, more or less uh, the dip. But of course, uh, we're also gonna show you how to dip and what we're dipping today is going to be a gun stock. And so of course you can see that we do have a humongous hole in the gun stock. So um, pretty much you can hold it like that. Uh, some people call it like thumb hole gun stocks. Uh, this one's a little bit variance on that um, because it is gonna be a lot bigger to kind of hold like this or like this or even like that. So um, whichever way you wanna hold that, it's fine, whichever. Um, but uh, we are dipping this in a, uh, a different pattern and this one is actually going to be the mossy oak uh, green leaf. And so pretty much it's, if you're not uh, familiar with it, it's the old school bottom lands, mossy oak bottom lands, and then you of course have the green leaf all in it. Uh, really popular with uh, turkey hunters and uh, anybody that hunts down in like bottomlands type of camouflage uh, areas or anything like that. So um, we've got a gun stock here that we're dipping in that. So we figured we'd shoot a quick little video, show you guys a few things with it, uh, what we've seen, and that way you can see the end result. So with this one right here, I am actually going to be going and doing a, uh, a roll on this gun stock. Now again, you could easily tape this off half. There's a nice little parting line right here uh, that was made into the mold. So um, you can go ahead and do that and tape off half of it and do it just like any of our other videos that we've done on double dipping a gun stock. But um, this one we figured we're gonna go ahead and try to roll it. And so pretty much uh, just to kind of show you here before we get it in the water, um, rolling a gun stock, it definitely takes a lot of practice and a lot of time because you have to come down into the water like this and then you have to slowly go down into the water like this. Now again, you do not just want to go flat like this right here, alright? So what you're going to actually notice is whenever I go down, I'm going to go down more right here and then I'm going to come in like this and then I'm gonna slowly roll it in. And so that helps get all this air from here, bringing it out into here. And then of course, once I make it halfway, then now I have the water down this whole half and then all the way up into here in half. And so once I have that, then I'm going to take and roll it the other half of the way. And so the other thing is of course, you don't want to just roll it all the way down. You actually want to keep a little bit of an angle like that as you're going down into the water with it. And so you'll see that as we as we dip it. And so what that's going to do is, is it's going to give me a nice pattern coming up and around like this right here, but it's only going to give me a line right down this edge and then of course right down that edge. And then of course I'm going to have a line right in here where I stopped at, but I'm not going to have any line on this area right here. So we're going to try this out, see how it works, and um, show you guys how it's going to look. Of course, we have already base coated this, prepped it out, primered it, done the necessary steps. Uh, we've got the correct base color on this pattern. And so as you can see, whenever it is dipped, this is pretty much how it's going to end up looking like. So we've got a, um, a nice little grayish brown color right in through here. And then of course you have all of your colors coming out uh, through that. So uh, another thing that I have seen some customers uh, want is they want more of like a, a brownish color bottom lens instead of more of a gray color bottom lens. So a uh, simple fix, you could easily take this color right here, um, throw it on like say a brown or something like that. Uh, nice tan somewhere uh, in that area of color range and then you can get yourself more of a brown or tan color instead of uh, this grayish color. Now again, um, we just went ahead, we sprayed it with the recommended base color that came with it, so <clears throat> this is what the customer wanted, so this is what we're doing. But you could change that if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and lay this out. Now I've got plenty of room on the excess right here to allow my hands to go in and then roll. And so we've got a couple of inches up right through here. And then 
we'll roll it over and then we'll take this come up here and then go across now um, on something like this because this is wanting to roll up just a little bit uh, just to make sure that it's a little bit easier for me to get in the water and everything I'm just gonna take and set a couple of pieces of tape right down here and put a line all the way across here and then of course once we have how far that we need then give ourselves a couple of inches of room and then go all the way across with it just like that so now that we have that we can go ahead cut the edge of that and cut this all the way across and now we're ready to lay it in the water now the one trick that I have found with this film right here after using it a little bit is that it normally likes a little bit longer soak time um, I don't know why it's just probably the way that the film is made but um, the colors seem to hold a little bit better and they <clears throat> seem to work a little bit better if you do give it that extra soak time so what we've done is we've actually increased our soak time to about 90 seconds so about a minute and a half and then we'll spray our activator and then of course we'll dip the part so of course the activator that we're using um, it's actually going to be our liquid concepts activator uh, if you have any uh, questions on it you can see the description the link below uh, we'll have a link to it if you're interested in that and so pretty much we'll take this now we'll throw it in the water and then let's roll a gun stock so here we go So right now, tank is sitting at about 81 degrees. So right around 80 to 90 is kind of where we want to be at. And so we'll go ahead and pull this back in a little bit. Drop that down. Now we've got that nice and contained. Now everything is pretty much ready to go. So now just a waiting game. We'll let this sit again minute and a half on the water i'm going to go ahead and grab some gloves on and then uh, once the timer goes off we'll spray it with the activator dip it and show you guys how it comes out with the uh, um, with the look on it and the camouflage all right so we got a minute and a half on the water everything's looking good so we'll kind of tighten that up just a little bit and then get, go ahead and start spraying All right, so we're gonna take a look at this, make sure everything looks good, which everything looks like it's glassed out all the way around, which is exactly what we what we want. So let's go ahead, get everything set up for our dip, and roll. So again, I'm gonna start like this. I'm gonna come in just like that. Very nice. That came out excellent all the way around. We've got really great coverage all the way around through here. Beautiful line. I got a really nice line coming all the way up through here. And then of course, I do have my other line coming in through here. Now again, a lot of that will rinse right off, so I'm not too worried about that. But all in all, I would say this is definitely a great hit all the way around great coverage and wrap all the way around into here and even if you're looking down into here I don't know which way you need to take a look at that but you can kind of see as it's going down in there um, we got really good coverage all the way around on the inside so uh, definitely a really good hit so um, 
think this will be this will be a great kit. So let's go ahead. We'll get this in the rinse station. We'll get it rinsed off, dried off, clear coated, and show you guys the end results. So stay tuned. All right. So we've got everything rinsed off. We got everything touched up. Uh, everything's been clear coated. I think this stock came out amazing. So uh, as y'all saw uh, just recently, of course, we dipped it in a single dip. We rolled everything, and then, of course, now here it is on the end result. So, um, just like before, like what I was saying, we've got a really nice, beautiful pattern coming all the way down through here. We have a really good area all in through here that got covered really well. Uh, of course, we do have our line that comes down here, and then we have our line that comes down through here. And then, of course, on the other side, we'll flip this over like that. That way it's back to the normal way that you'd be looking at it. Um, we have a really nice, beautiful pattern coming along through here. And so everything came out really amazing. Even the wrap around all the way around into here uh, looks really good. So all in all, I would definitely say this is definitely a big success. The customer is definitely going to love it. Um, Hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks videos that we do every week on anything hydrographics related. Also, if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. We'd love to uh, have that from you. And um, also too, let me know in the comments section, what did you think about the dip? Did you like it? Uh, have you seen other techniques? You know, anything like that, even other things for other videos, definitely leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you on anything that you got hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.